Christmas week, 1979, in strange ways. had a great deal of intelligence coming our way by way of snippets of information that there could well be some form of demonstration by the inmates this weekend. Initially, the information was to the effect that it would coincide with some demonstration outside the prison. Now, using the agencies that we have outside, we are told that there is no reason to believe that a demonstration will in fact take place outside. But nonetheless, we've had several stiffs in boxes, we've had information given to officers and subsequently to us that they've heard the murmurings and the whisperings that something may take place. Now beyond that I can't say, other than it, it is the silly season. As prison officers you're well aware what happens at this time of the year. Just be that little bit extra vigilant. And above all, don't have any loose tongues. Eyes open, ears open, Mouth shut. Thank you, General. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. The routine of prison life continues remorselessly. Whatever the season, the courts still exercise their final sanction, sending men to prison, often for remarkably trivial offences. Three from all them. Stand up from the table there. Pockets out on the table. Everything out of your pockets. What's your full name? Bernard Trevor. Bernard Trevor. Yeah. Clegg. And where, which court were you in this morning? Older. And what sentence did you get? Uh, Twelve days. Twelve um, days. For non I find. Is there any chance of this money being paid today? Um, tomorrow. Were you in court this morning? Yes. And what happened to you? Uh, Fifty-three days. Fine. For the fine. Is there any chance of this being paid today? No. None at all. Did you appear in court this morning? Yes. What sentence did you get? Five days. Fifty-two. Fifty-two pounds. Is there any chance of this being paid? Uh, not at the moment. I've got to get in touch outside. Yeah, sure. How old are you? Forty-five. What do you work as outside? Uh, weaver. Did you bring any cash with you? 2p. Have you anything else in your pockets? No. Nothing at all. This morning, were you? Yes, sir. For an outstanding fine? Yes, sir. Is there any chance of this money being paid? No chance. None at all. So, how long are you doing? Seven days. That's correct. You were arrested this morning. How old are you? 41. 41. 
Did you bring any cash in with you? No cash. No cash. Any earrings, medallions, cufflinks, nothing at all. When did you go? Yesterday morning. Yesterday. It not lasted very long, have we? Right. You sat waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have a seat down there, Lenore. Just leave that stuff there. No, just leave it there. We'll get it when you go back up the top end. I was picked up drunk last night. I was celebrating my release from here. And uh, went to court. Oh, I was on bail and went to court. And uh, they uh, pulled this committal warrant out on me and it was 25 pound, I thought, which I thought was already paid. About 11 years. It's a way of life, is it? No, not really. I don't like it at all. I'm an alcoholic, see, so I get into trouble with through drink. How do you, what, do you, what do you feel now? You're going to be back in prison? You've only just come out? Terrible. It's only with the wife. A couple of hours and I'm back in again. I had no intention of coming back again, Lee. Like. Well, it's only for this fine, Lee. Like. Because in here, in here, you're locked up all the time now. There's no work. And you just sit for about three quarters of an hour of exercise. What are you doing? There's nothing we can do about it. We're just locked up. We can't do nothing. To keep Wesley in prison for seven days will cost the taxpayer £120. The fine he failed to pay, twenty-five pounds. He's on that. Level, sir. All right, level. Mm. Good way, sir. Morning, sir. Come. Oh, Daddy. Liver this morning. Very nice, thank you very much, sir. How are you getting on with the Christmas food, the Christmas plates? Very nearly finished. That's we've got one to do the full board from there. Very nice. All the young things element again, yes. isn't it? All done. Spot on. Very nice. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> she hopped then. Uh, no, he's in the office doing the order. We've got a pitch for the Christmas chicken portion. Right, sir. Yeah, Bill and I will do the. I'll start at we'll the top. <laughs> and I start at the bottom, so because I've got to climb stairs. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it, me it means that we meet somewhere in the middle. We're Right, yeah. Are you happy enough on here? Well, well I, would, I would just say, if anyone were to mention, for example, that they'd like to go to confession, if you could get, give me the name, because I have yeah. to give an unlocking this yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Just call round to wish you the compliments of the season oh, yeah. and to bring you a Christmas card. Oh, thanks a lot, yeah. So. Uh, how's everything? Well, You'll find in there the, the list of films for the weekend and uh, also the services. I tried to get the menu, but I wasn't very lucky. Yeah. But uh, it gives you all the gen, you know, what's going on over the, over the holiday period. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got some stamps here for that. Oh, thank you. Children, like that's grand. Oh, well, as you know, we're saving them for the Save the Children Fund, so that's, that's terrific. I love Good. the box, but... Uh... Well, <laughs> tell you what, I've got, a, I've got an envelope here. Let's show them in the end. Yeah, when you finish the let's, let's show them in the end. How do you think you'll manage in here over Christmas? I'm not too bad. You've got some, got some nice cards anyway. Survive, survive, yeah. Well, the thing is, it's it's not a it's not a happy time for a fella to be in prison. 
Are you, you're in touch with your family, are you? Yeah, it's uh, somewhere another day. Let's see if I have this here. Good afternoon. How are you? I've just bought the, the Christmas card. Okay. Got the jerseys and I've also got the names of the films. The League on Team 8. He's fast asleep, is he? Everything's okay. Yes, sir. Okay. God bless you. Sorry, Mr. Um, can I give you this? Oh, hey. Christmas decorations. You make these yourself? Yeah, I've made them all the last few days. Mm -hmm. What, what? Just oh, tissue. Just the so it's not gonna, how do you stick it on? Just sort of wet it to you and yeah, with water and soap. Sorry, part of the decorations are coming down. Yeah. Oh, complete with snowman as well. So do you do this sort of between you, you and your, your, your yeah. soulmate? Yeah, maybe soulmate. Good afternoon, lads. Just hold a wish you the compliments of the season. And to uh, leave you a Christmas card. Cheers. It gives you details of films no. and services and what's going on in the, over the, the, the Christmas period. No, I wouldn't mind. Oh, you don't want one? Uh, no. Why not? Because you're a bit of a hypocrite, aren't you? Well, thank you very much. You're the first fellow that has told me that. Why? Oh, why is it your church in Sunday and a prison officer assaulted one of the young boys in it? Well, I never heard about that. Oh, well, I seen it was right at the end of your service. He mm. smacked him there, and I saw when he shake your hand at the end of the service. Yes, I noticed you walked past me and you, you, you refused to shake my hand, but that was a ridiculous thing to do. I mean, if you had a complaint to make, you should have made it to me. But by taking your attitude, you see, you didn't even give me a chance. Come on, my attitude. That was missing my remission through dinner. And the minute I got to complain about anything like that, it's a troublemaker beater. Mm. Well, uh, I can understand you feeling this way, and when a lad loses his remission, it makes him feel a bit bitter as well. But in future, don't hold it to yourself. If there is something that, that you want to have a chat with me about, for heaven's sake, give us a call. This is what I'm here for. You see me around often enough, so, you know, I want to help in any way that I can. But leave this to me, I'll follow it up. Yeah. Thanks again. Will you take one now? No. Okay. Anyway, thanks again. God bless, lads. Happy Christmas. Yeah. Four days to Christmas. Men due to be released always appear before the discharge board. This exists to discover their circumstances and perhaps to award a grant. These prisoners will be freed on Monday, Christmas Eve. 771499. That's correct. Uh, Ellis. Yeah. And where are you going on discharge tomorrow, Ellis? Where are you going to on discharge tomorrow? You mean home? Yeah. Yes, I'm going home. Oh, on Monday, right? Yeah, Monday, yeah. 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 And that's where? What address is oh, that? Oh, one Paschal Street. That's two. That's two miles. Yeah, that's correct. And now the other bus... Oh. And now the other bus fare? Uh, uh, my wife reckons it's 45 feet. 45 feet, I see. Two buses. Uh-huh. Have you any private cash? No. No private cash. So being in for debts and fines, you don't get any discharge grant? No. If you give a letter to take to Social Security? Yeah. OK? Yes. Right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, a civil prisoner in here for non-payment of rates. I had no savings behind me whatsoever, because obviously if I could have paid the rates that I owed, which are only £107, I wouldn't have had to come in here. Well, as I say, being in the engineering industry, uh, we've had a period, first of all, at our firm of two and a half weeks when we had a lockout through industrial action and then the unions in their wisdom told us that we must all engineering workers take one day off per week no overtime whatsoever after three consecutive weeks we then had to take two days off per week we're only working three days in a week having four days off obviously the wages that we could have been earning were halved during this period, which is why I had no reserve whatsoever to, to pay this. Well, it's not very nice, and of course, uh, it's a big shock to leave, have to leave your wife on her own. You know, I mean, to be cut off from your wife and, of course, the place you work at, your workmates, 
It's a tremendous shock. It's just something that, saying I couldn't pay it, there's no alternative, was there? You know, but to come in here. Do you feel bitter towards the court for sending you? Not really, no, because I wouldn't have been in here if I'd have kept up the payments, you know, towards that I, I could have, but I'd agreed to do, you know, five pounds a week. And in fact, I couldn't do it, so I, I'm not bitter because, I mean, I'm here through my own fault in that respect, aren't I? Where are you going to on discharge on Monday, Ross? Warrington. Warrington. So you want a warrant to Warrington? Yes, Ross. Right. What just are you going to at Warrington? No fix the ball. No fix the ball. What's your suggestion, Warrington Avenue? That was the house before the before I came in, Mr. Council took back up there. Is this matter supposed to be uh, prepared to take you in? Uh, I don't think it's fair that I should put uh, on me or on uh, uh, the outside. There was a relationship at one stage, but it fell through. Have you had any contact with the probation officer while you've been in here? I had a visit yesterday. Are you going to see him when you get out? Tell me when in a second. Is in private cash? £2.18. That's correct. I will give you the homeless grant of £39.95. So when you go and see your probation officer, make sure you've got that full amount with you. That's the first week. Allowance for board and lodgings. OK? You'll get money to see me. When you see your probation officer. I'll see you then. Well, you've got to see them and try and get accommodation, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So when you get there, make sure you've got some of that money with you. That's the first week board and lodgings. You get nothing further from Social Security for the first week. All right? Yeah. Any questions? No, sir. Right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stand there, give your phone number, not the chief officer. Vincent, I'm going to say Gallagher. Yes, Gallagher. You're due for discharge on Monday. Monday. For three weeks, it's been easy, you know. I wouldn't like to get, say, three years or something like that, you know. I don't do anything to get three years, you know, but if I did, if it, you know, for anything, I, I couldn't take it, you know. And can't, you know. The, the lads in here, they're all right, you know. When you're walking past the cell and you see six years, you know what I mean, it makes you shudder. You know, but like me, th three weeks, it's nothing really, and it's only fines, you know, for, you know, it's not sort of criminal, you know, it's only a fine, you know what I mean, which could be paid, but they didn't give me enough time to pay it. You know, this is the first I've known about it. You know, I was walking along the street, and the police come up to me and say, we want you. You know, you'd always, uh, you owe the court's £300, like. So they says, you can pay this, so you're paying it. So I says, well, you're taking me to the police station, you know what I mean? If you ain't got your bank book with you or anything, you can't, well, let's pay it. Just took me straight to the police station. Five minutes later, I was here. You know, strange ways, without anything, no court case or nothing, just bang me straight in. But, Gallagher, we've had information from the police, and on Monday morning, you'll be for gate arrest. Have you got some outstanding charges or something? No. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Well, Greater Manchester Police have sent, sent official mail in. They wish you to interview or discharge on Monday. I've already seen them downstairs. When? Wednesday. Well, this is that news today. The letter came in today, didn't they? They'll lead me up to the gate, I think, and that's where the police, the well, CID, will be waiting for me. You know, to take me down to a stop port for my fines. And uh, from there on, I don't know, I'll probably. Got a court in the morning, Christmas Eve. You know, hope to get bail, you know, for the hundred pound that they says I own. And um I don't know what'll happen from there on. Cause I haven't contacted my solicitor because I've had no time. You know, with it being over the weekend and they told me on Friday uh, evening. You know, so I don't really know what'll happen. Just hope that I, you know, get bail for Christmas Day.
the staff carol service. Seven o'clock in the morning, Christmas Eve. Right, so you tweak it down into the room. When you come out, bring everything with you. You won't be coming back into the room. Right? Listen for your names. Sign on there for your cash flow. Got £3.39 signed there. £3.39 pounds, 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 Do you understand all about the firearm, Jack? Yes, boss. You do. All right. Have you got all your clothing and property you came into prison with? Sir. You have. All right. Sign on there for the cash. Forty-two pounds thirteen pence. Ten. Forty-two pounds. Forty-two pounds. Thirteen pence. You've got a railway warrant to warrant to use it today. It's not after today. Sign there. Sentence you've been serving. Yes, yeah, that's uh, G. A. Ellis. No, your full name. George Alfred. Yeah, and it says seven seven one four nine nine. Yeah. How long have you been serving? Thirty nine days. Thirty nine days. Yeah. Where did you get that? Up? What court gave you that? 
Well, it was a family friend and said the magistrate's court. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, sign on there for your cash, sir. Yeah. 45 cents. As expected, Vincent was rearrested and taken to Stockport Police Station to face a further appearance in court. Welcome along to the Christmas morning show. Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas, Alec. And a very Merry Christmas, Mary, and a Merry Christmas, everybody.
The Queen. The Queen. 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 reason because basically the message came in just at dinner time that your father who was taken into Weaver some Grange hospital died yesterday morning uh, now as I say it's it, 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 how, how much you know about it whether he was ill or anything I, I'm not quite sure so you didn't know anything I've tried to ring the hospital since uh, and haven't been able to get through I'm gonna have another try in a moment or two and, and find out what more, what more news you can find. Well, they wouldn't, I don't think they'd know it was in here, you see. My knowledge uh, was very limited. All I got was the, the information from the control room. So I don't know whether any of your family's on the phone that I could ring them to find out. They're not. It's only me left. Uh-huh. If you sent a letter to the house, the house has been burned down a fortnight previous to coming in, I've got nothing, nothing at all. Everything got burned. This is where you were living? Yeah. It happened when I wasn't there. They reckon it was arson, but they can't prove it. Yes. And I haven't got a thing, only what I stand up in. So you... I haven't got a hate me of anything. Yes. So basically it means that when you when you do leave here... That I've you've got nowhere to go. Yes. <laughs> Despite the fears of the authorities, Christmas in strange ways passed off without incident. Yeah, 
That's it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, John. When you're ready. Five, good. 